I don't know except it is revealed to me. I cannot know what is wrong with you and I cannot know the area of desperation and the area of need. And it is pride to stand in the way of the one who knows. In fact, it's wickedness. It's not just pride. I'm trying to help you, but I'm ignorant. There is the one who knows exactly where to touch you. And now I will not let him touch you. And sometimes you can be the limitation yourself because you can think this is what you need. But from the mind of God, what you need is totally different. It is up to you to say, Lord, I, I truly believe that you can visit me. Surrender. There are times you can have pain and you may go to the doctor with, with the arrogance of an amateur and almost guessing and you can say, doctor, I am sure it is this thing. And the doctor laughs at you and laughs at your ignorance and tests you and tells you something totally different and says that's what is wrong with you but you are feeling another symptom and yet the doctor from a professional standpoint you think it's a financial problem open up your heart and let god visit you you will find out it has nothing to do with finances in fact sometimes you can think it's an issue of ill health but it is not an issue of ill health it's the ministry of the devourer he knows that the only way or the most predictable way to destroy your finances is your health. If he spoils your car, you will leave it there. You will not fix the car. So he spoils your body because he knows you will not leave that body that way. And since he has found out that you like this body and you want to live long in it, he will continue to create affliction so that your finances will suffer. So to you now, you can think the real problem is finances. But when you come to God, he will tell you it is not finances. The real problem is LBC. Listen, allow God to interpret your situation to you. The first atmosphere is that atmosphere of total surrender. Lord, I have come before you. As far as I know, there are 10 major problems with me. Disfavor no helpers oppression that's the best that i can know but i've come to you you are the wisdom of god diagnose me and do you know sometimes you see demon spirits walk like an octopus how many of you know an octopus that creature with many expressions like legs it can touch your finance same spirit touch your marriage same spirit you think they are different issues, but they are caused by one and the same spirit. How many of you will like to cut down a tree by removing the leaf one by one? How intelligent does that sound? And you are trying to say, Lord, can you help me remove all the leaves in this area? And God says, no, I know what the problem is. The leaves will grow. Allow me to come and bulldoze that thing from the root. And sometimes when he throws it from the root, you will still see the leaf looking green. And he says, go and rest, it's dead. And he said, no, it is still green. He says, I, I know what I did. Ah. Total dependence. Some of you, it may be ministry. Ministry is not growing. And based on your interpretation, it is because I'm in an area that is not my maybe territorial area maybe i'm a yoruba person among houses or a Hausa person among yorubas all those things are just flimsy reasons god is telling you the diagnosis is there is no favor on you period lord why is it that when i get a job in two weeks they drive me in two weeks they drive me and you have come with the name of your boss in your prayer request now hoping that by laying hands on him maybe god will kill him or do something but even if the man dies for instance will you really be free because what is really wrong with you is a pattern he said these are altars that have nothing to do your boss just happens to be the one that was used to oppress you because of something on you have you seen people who complain and even if the object of complaint is taken away from them the situation does not change it's not about the person causing trouble now. It's about something on you that keeps attracting trouble. Are we learning? Atmosphere. Component number one. So there has to be 
genuine passion for the Lord and then complete surrender why do you surrender to him you surrender to allow his wisdom go before you to allow him be the one to truly interpret what you need when you go to the hospital imagine that you go to the hospital and you are seated with the consultant and you just say sir where do you keep your syringes where do you keep this and he says what for he says i want to inject myself i know exactly what is wrong with me i just want you to be a witness <laughs> And you are breaking that thing and about to give yourself injection and he said you are even doing it the wrong way he said no problem i know what i'm doing and the man says why are you then here when you go to a consultant even if you are a consultant yourself you are not a consultant in that area so when you go you sit down like every other person and say doctor or consultant abc is wrong with me and you trust him and depend on him don't come to God tonight. In fact, some of you in all honesty, in all honesty, as you are seated right now, you cannot truly articulate what is wrong with you. You can only tell the symptoms of what is wrong with you. My money has been hanging for five months. Could it really be a financial issue? Let's find out. My health has been having a problem. Could it really be a health issue? Let's find out. Are you learning what I'm saying now? Yes. So if I'm here right now and the Holy Spirit says, everybody stand up and start jumping around and dancing as stupid as it is, that's exactly what I'm going to do. It does not make sense to me, but you have to understand that I'm not the one doing it. It is the one who knows what is wrong with you. Are we together? I never stand on stage ministering to God's people and then close that door to the wisdom of the Spirit. I am aware of how limited and how very ignorant I am as far as having the full capacity to help God's people is concerned. You have come because you believe in Jesus and you have come because you believe in me and I'm grateful for that trust. But let me tell you, unassisted, I'm only wasting your time. I can only share scripture and say let's pray do you know what it takes to stand from here and begin to make declarations over someone's life and like that doors are opening you are intelligent can a man do that unassisted no but i'm happy to inform you i'm not alone here not alone hmm. and the lord walking with them and the Lord walking with them and the Lord walking with them number two the second component that creates the atmosphere